Hey, what's up, guys? Irish Turtle here. Welcome to the division. So the game's finally out, and I finally actually complete the story. Now, <laughs> that sounds really bad. I actually finished the story in about two days. Uh, I kind of rushed through it. You can actually see all of that content on my channel. It's all done in streams, uh, but you can also see the missions individually. I kind of did those out. But playing the game, I kind of had a look at the crafting system, and you know, I kind of figured it was kind of a pointless thing to do until you hit level 30. So that's my first tip for crafting: is don't waste your time with it until you hit level 30, simply because it's just not worth wasting your time, as you not going to get the stuff you need and the gear that you can get below level 30 you out level quicker than it becomes than it's useful basically but to get crafting going all you need to do is start getting yourself materials to begin with so when you start the game all you want to be doing is looking for areas like this that say tools electronics weapon parts whatever it is they're all marked with those little uh, like tealy shim uh, tealish sort of symbols here and basically what you go is you go to them you find crates you find boxes you find toolboxes you open them and you get certain materials be that blue or green. So those are the sort of items that you get. Once you've done that, what you want to do is you want to come to the crafting vendor at the crafting station and by the time you've reached level 30, if you're doing it this way specifically, you should have gained a, quite a few level 30 uh, like blueprints. The only way to get the crafting materials for these, like crafting blueprints rather, is to play the story, play the missions, the side missions and stuff, and as you go through them, people will reward you with blueprints. You might find them around the map as drops, but basically you just pick them up slowly as you go. Now, to begin with the crafting, as you look at each thing, they all have a specific item that they require. So if I look at the, the mask here, at the bottom left you can see it needs fabric and it needs electronics, both of which are blue. And it gives you the number of how many it requires. Similarly with body armour, again it's fabric and electronics. So most of the body armours, well all the body armours, all the clothing items are fabric and electronics. And then when you use the weapons, it's weapon parts and tools. So that's remembering basically what you need. Fabric and electronics is for clothes, weapon parts and tools are for weapons as you know they might suggest so basically now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how how you can get like the exotic tier of crafting materials so as you can see here I need five weapon parts of gold tier and three of the tool tier now to get those what you want to do is you want to come down your crafting station menu come right down to the bottom here and then all you need to do is craft uh, like high-end weapon parts now to craft them you need the previous set so to get like the blue fabric I need the green fabric ones so then I can just craft and I can keep doing that until I run out. And it takes it takes five green to make uh, to make one blue. So obviously, you know, you're gonna have to collect a lot of stuff to like level it all up. But as you can see there, I now have like no more green. Like I have one green left, but I just got a couple of blues. And again, you want to do this for everything. Just as you go. Unfortunately, at the minute, as far as I can tell, there is no craft all button, which I think is something that needs to be done because it becomes an issue of having to like obviously level everything up and it, you know like you see as you see here I'm just kind of having to do all the blues individually each time which is a bit of a pain but I suppose you know you'll get used to it and so basically why you want to do crafting is because in this game uh, some of the best loot that you can build I get is actually stuff that you can build so that's like really awesome when you think about it like you can obviously build really high end gear you can get really awesome bits and pieces that you can't get like far around the, the map so it's definitely worth looking into doing some crafting and stuff because obviously as I've said you know it's a fairly good method for building weapons so as you can see here I've got the weapon parts done I've got the tools and I should now have probably not enough weapon parts but I should have enough uh, tools so as you see at the bottom right I now have three out of three tools I'm still short on weapon parts so I will be right back once I've got all the weapon parts and I'll build this Damascus blueprint uh, for this pistol but obviously as you can see there guys all it basically is in crafting is it's a tier system you go up and up and up as you go and you keep dropping weapon parts and, and tools and you upgrade everything as you go now the reason for not wanting to do this at lower levels is because as you can see here I've got these level 28 and level 27 pieces and some of them are like they're not as good as what I, my current weapons are and the weapons I've got are just dropped from random enemies I've just been looting them picking them up as I go haven't specifically gone into any crafting yet so like obviously what you want to be doing is waiting for the level 30 blueprints and like get in those, waiting for the exotic ones. And to get some exotic blueprints, I will show you a couple of locations. Well, actually, no, I'll tell you a couple of locations. Basically, once you've you've done the game, you then want to move into the dark zone. You want to probably do the story first. When you're in the dark zone, it's very easy just to go to the safe houses that are like around the map here, there. And basically, in the safe houses, they kind of we're not 100% sure if they rotate yet because obviously it's not been a long enough time since I've been in the dark zone. But each one has different blueprints. So there's a safe room down here that had a load of exotic blueprints for weapons and then there's one here that had armor and then there's another one that had armor mods so obviously you want to be looking through each one kind of picking them based on what you want going through there buying them obviously with dark zone credits and level 
So that's basic crafting in a in, in a basic form, guys. I probably won't waste the uh, the cr credits on the um, pistol, although I might put it in at the end of the video if you guys want to see that. Actually, no, you know what? I'll put that in. I'll skip ahead and do that at the end. But I hope you guys have found this crafting video useful. It's a very basic one, very easy just to get you started and get you going. But if you've enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe for more Division content, and I'll see you in the next one.